The Street Fighter 6 closed beta just finished today, and here is my impressions of the game from someone who does not play fighting games that much. I play, I play Mortal Kombat sometimes. I don't mind a little cheeky Mortal Kombat. Don't mind a little bit of a cheeky Tekken. I used to play that as a kid, but you know what? When it comes to online play, I stay well away from that shit. You want to? You want to know why? Because people bend me over and use their deluxe BDSM spanking kit collection on me. And I don't like that. I don't find it fun. So I play against bots. <laughs> I play against bots or my little brother when when he was still little. So you're getting a review from someone who's very casual in this. And you know what? I didn't mind it. I actually really liked it, and I'll say that off the bat. I had the option of either getting a PS5 and PC version. Consoles are generally more optimized when it comes to Capcom and sh like fighting games. So I went with the PC version because I want to be as nitty gritty as I possibly can and I'm not letting anything slide there. The PC optimization wasn't up to scratch. It was very stuttery at the start. Didn't matter if it was on ultra quality or low quality, it was extremely, extremely stuttery and not responsive. And there were cutscenes where people were delayed with their talking and it was very noticeable. However, when you were actually in the game, it was fine for whatever reason. Like, Thank God, because, you know, I suck anyway. I suck already. The Avatar creator was actually pretty in-depth. Now, I didn't spend any time at all trying to go through it all because I just wanted to get in and play the game. However, there was this one feature that stuck out. You could create two avatars or just have two already made avatars and then mesh their faces together. So you could get like a hybrid of two of your favorite avatars or just two templates that you want to mix up, which... I thought was pretty interesting. I have never seen that in a game before. And obviously when you switch genders, you don't lose all of your presets, so. That's good, 10 out of 10. But the way that it was set up is something that really, really surprised me. So you enter this massive arena, it's called the hub. And initially when I first walked in, I was like, what? What the hell is this? So there, there are people sitting down on arcades, and the way that the arcades are set up is there are there are a bunch of scattered arcades. You sit down on one, and then someone sits down the other side, and you fight each other. And I initially thought, where do I go to start fighting people? <laughs> because I looked at this shit and I was like, why are people sitting down on arcades? Like, where the, where's the fighting happening? Then I eventually sat down and realized, ah. Oh, this is how the mechanics work, and it works really good. It's actually a really creative way of setting up a fight, because you can sit down with whoever you want, whenever you want. You don't have to queue up. You can just sit down and fight someone, and then you can leave afterwards, or you can just stay on the seat and keep on rematching them until someone leaves, and you can physically see them get up and leave, and I feel like that aspect was a lot better. Now, I will say, I, I'm from the Oceania re region, so I was matching up against Japanese and South Korea. Korean players. So, I got my ass whooped more than usual, I'm not gonna lie. This is uh, someone that I was rematching over and over again, and he got a perfect KO two times, a flawless win, and just look at what happens when I get up out of the seat. This is the first thing I see when I leave the cabinet. He has his phone just implanted in my face. I, I, I hate this. I hate this game. This game sucks. Don't buy it. I felt very submissive and breedable. However, I just, I, I stuck to it. I tried, I tried to keep playing. I played for hours and I was like, you know what? I, by the way, I only played as one character. His name was Luke, I think. And eventually I matched up against someone and I just started cheesing the hell out of this front flip, like Achilles kick, I think it is. And then I just kept on beating him over and over again. And you know what? That was the most satisfying thing I have ever experienced. I'm glad that I was on both ends during my impressions because I was on the end of no I'm not getting up and leaving this seat I don't want to look like a bitch I am going to sit down and I'm going to keep playing until I get one win and after that win I can leave however I ended up just leaving anyway because I suck but this time this guy left <laughs> he left and I, I gotta tell you like that feeling 
that feeling you get is just something magical. It's it's it really warms your bosoms in an un, in an unexpected way. I see a lot of potential for this game. The way that it's set up, the way that you can just chat to people in the text, it's really cool. However, if you really want to get this game and have fun with it, don't get the PC version. That's just my recommendation. I'm pretty sure that it's going to play a lot better on the PS5. I wish I got the option to play with both. However, it's still like six months away, I'm pretty sure, so they should have time to optimize things. But yeah, like I said, from someone who has never played a Street Fighter game, I, I don't think I actually have played a Street Fighter game. I've played Mortal Kombat and Tekken, like I've said, but from someone who has never touched this Hadouken, I will say I'm considering getting this game because the way that just the way it's set up is just really, really creative and fun. So yeah, that'll be it for this review. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Moldy Fish Dicks. If you like this video, leave a like. If you like me and you you want to click that cheeky subscribe button, hey, I won't stop you. Go ahead. And I'll catch you in the next episode. As always, stay safe, stay sexy, stay humble. Suck your nipple.